Hey there guys, thanks for joining me today as we're taking a look at something I've been reading about on the Reddit. There was a question posted, what happens when you put a rotor on the rotor and have them both rotate? Well, the question obviously was, do they rotate at double speed? And yes, they do. If you have two rotors, both rotating at the same speed, the end here, the cockpit I've placed on, should be rotating at double the speed. So, I want to demonstrate this to you. So, take a good look at the speed here of the cockpit just rotating around. This is currently rotating with only the first rotor rotating. Uh, 10 RPM. And now what I'll do is I'll have the second rotor right here also rotate at 10 RPM in the same direction. As you can see, the end cockpit here is now actually rotating at double, double speed, or it should be double speed. Anyway, let's take a look at the rotors here without being kicked out of, out of the way. So, take a good look here. You see the first rotor, rotor is rotating with the, the block connected to it, and the other block is actually rotating at double the speed. Take a good look and compare the rotor ends, and you'll see that the last rotor is rotating a lot faster. Even though both rot rotors are rotating at 10 RPM. So that does mean that you can boost more power through having multiple rotors. Let's stop both the rotors and take a look at this from the other cockpit. I've placed that on there for a good reason, of course. We can measure the speed. And uh, yeah, I do apologize for any motion sickness caused by this. Let's go and uh, put 10 RPM on the first rotor and see what that does for us. So we are doing 2.1 meters per second. 2.1 meters per second. Let's go and see what happens if we put the, se the second rotor at 10 RPM as well. You can already see it in the background. Our speed is definitely increased. So now we have both rotors uh, at 10 RPM. 4.6 meters. An exact double in speed. Let's try this with rotors at full strength. I'll stop the, first, the second rotor. The first rotor at 30 RPM, full speed. We're, we're doing 7 meters per second. Now let's do the same thing with the second rotor and see what happens. Now this is where it's bugging me a little bit. Instead of moving it to 14 RPM, we have only had an increase of 1.6 meters per second. So right now, both rotors are doing 30 RPM, which should mean that we're doing 60 rpm however that doesn't seem to work and that's where i'm confused and could use your help to figure out why that is obviously we're all wondering about the same thing and what happens when you do this with a whole line of rotators connected to each other let's go and have a look Shall we do this from that cockpit? Okay. Let's do it. Let's take a look at the rotors here. Should we just turn them all on? Get crazy? Let's do it. What's our speed? 10 meters per second, 11, 8, 9. So it is doing a little bit more than it was before. But it is extremely, extremely weird. Take a look at the... Um, the rotor motion. It does look rather cool, doesn't it? Now you can see that there's a little bit of instability in this thing. And you'll see that sooner rather than later this thing is going to be spinning out of control. Turning it into a wild roller coaster. It's already starting to do it now. Obviously, there is an, an imbalance there because of the cockpit on the end. And I think in the end, this can be described as none other than the Kraken of space. Very impressive. Let's take a look at how this turns out. I must admit, looking at this now with the rotors, I'm seeing a very well-constructed chain. And I'm wondering, why have I not used a chain like this before? It's very cool to look at.
imagine putting a connector on the end of there and you know I don't know if you've ever seen Firefly or Serenity but it makes me think of a Reaver ship connecting to a ship and tearing it apart in that sense and now we've got a nice waving propeller motion alright guys I don't want to stretch this on for too long I hope this uh, yeah made a couple of things clear for you um, let me know what you think about why this isn't rotating faster than it could and we'll see you next time with some uh, more fun footage. Thanks for watching. See you later.